Hello, team. How you doing? Hey, babe. How are y'all? Good. Good. Look, nice day. Did you wear the puffy shirt? I like my puffy shirt. Ah, it's beautiful. I got some good news, boys. I just bought a vineyard. Would oh, you lose a bet? Feast your eyes on Tuscan Daros. Is that in America? I cannot believe you actually bought it. Actually, I think I'm gonna change the name of it. Either to Willie's. Willie's Wine. If something starts off with Willie, it has to be moonshine or nothing. That doesn't sound sophisticated enough, babe. Why is Willie not sophisticated? Willie's Moonshine. That fits. Willie's Wine. Never. I guarantee you, you do a check, and most people named Willie are either in prison or they're like on the arm wrestling circuit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a businessman. I can see potential. I'll have a little presentation. Oh my goodness. When they see it, they're gonna be blown away. That's what you bought? Yeah. I hope you didn't spend a lot of money on this. You gone out and looked at the ground? No, I bought it online. You bought it online? Yeah, it was in an auction. I got a smoking deal. Oh my goodness. I think it's gonna be interesting. It looks like a cemetery. This is like somebody giving me backstage passes to an insured disaster. Y'all are gonna love it. This is gonna be the coolest thing we've ever done. I'm going on the ship because if it crashes, I wanna watch it. The coolest thing we've ever done. Yeah. Goodness. You know what this is, Kay? What? It's the Robertson Winery. I just bought it. Uh, I really don't know what to say. It's not often that my boys buy something I can actually appreciate. This is beautiful. Like back in the pioneer yeah. days when they had wine, Kay. This is the vineyard. This is beautiful. My question is, where are the grapes? Uh, yeah. Needs a little work. A little work. Hey, Willie, you big extravagant purchaser, where are the grapes? Willie showed me a bunch of pictures of a bunch of vines and hey, grapes. Hey, it's gonna look like the picture. Show me the grapes. You gotta put hand to plow, son, I hand to you. plow. Trying to make wine with no grapes? Do you believe in miracles? I can see it now. This whole thing is gonna be slammed full of grapes. We just hit it at the wrong time. But you can always turn water into wine, if you're Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be nice. The last time I checked, your name is Willie. You're gonna be buying wine at the Quick Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real funny. I ain't sure where the grapes went to, but hey, there's no problem. When in doubt, figure it out. That's the redneck way. I think I need to call in an expert. You should have called the expert before you bought this thing. This place is nice, isn't it? I know. We just got to figure out how to do it, don't we? That's why I got the expert coming in. <laughs> Look, I realize I'm in over my head. We don't have any grace, but don't hit the panic button. I got a sommelier on the way. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, Jeff Landry with Landry out. Vineyard. We are just so excited about hearing about y'all buying a winery. It's a tough business. Growing is tough. Winemaking is tough, too. I mean, you might should have found out some facts, you know, about I how to do it. I looked online. I read a bunch of stuff. Well, good. I feel better now. Thank you. Most of the rednecks I know think wine only comes in a box. There's way more varieties. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. That's pretty much the two that I know about. We were gonna do a wine tasting at the end of the month. Uh, you, you, got a, you got a ways to go before you're gonna have something in the bottle. You jumped the gun as usual, didn't you? I thought you just went out there and picked You have a degree, but it's not in wine making, is it? No, it's in wine drinking. Okay. I mean, Jesus turned water into wine. How hard can it be? Well, there's a little leaf. This is Blanc du Bois. That's the name of this grape. Blanc de who? Blanc du Bois. It's a wine grape. All these are Blanc du Blancs? Uh, Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Blanc du Bois. Willie can't even pronounce the name of the grapes. It's Blanc du Bois. See, I can't pronounce the name of the wine. <laughs> I mean, you're four months away before you're ready to produce grapes, but you're still over a year away before you have something in the bottle, you know? Oh, man. I don't know if this guy knows, but I'm about the least patient person on this planet. He's giving me the 10-year plan. I want the 10-day plan. I mean, you can buy grapes, but the problem is this is not harvest season for any part of the country right now. There's grapes at the grocery store. I see well, you just buy them and bring them in? That's not the same type of grape. Wine grapes are very complex in, in flavor and character. We'll figure something out. 
Just bought a wine farm with no wine on it. We've got a huge wine tasting event that Corey's already sent invitations out to. We got no grapes and we got no wine on hand. It's time for plan B. Jace, hey, get me some wine grapes. Wine grapes? When Batman needed something, he called Robin. Google it or something, I don't know. What are you talking about? I got my own boy wonder. You get the wine grapes and meet us here. Well, will he? All right, bye. I'm gonna be tasting these grapes for a month because all the juice is drained down in my beard. There's Will. Look at him. <laughs> got him? Oh, we got him. All the grapes you can eat. Seems like a bad sign when you buy a vineyard and the first thing you have to do is buy some grapes. What vineyard did you get these from? I went to the grocery store and I bought them. He said to get wine grapes. No, but listen to me. I looked it up. All a wine grape is is a grape with a lot of sugar in it. It'll work, I'm telling you. Well, quit eating all of them. All right, here's the deal. We got to get the grapes into the crusher. It's going to pull the stems out, drop the crushed grapes into the press, and we'll get the juice. I'm going to crush them. All right, that's the crusher. Y'all get the grapes in there. I'll get it from the press. All right, let's go. Fire in the hole. Maybe this is easier than I thought. We're 10 minutes into this. I think it works good. Juice is flowing. We got juice. You can already smell the wine. That's nah, full. Yeah, I shouldn't have put that last box in. I was close. Thanks. Well, does this go on it, Will? OK. Now what? You're the master winemaker. Oh, I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. Now we got juice. See it pushing? Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, this is like taking a wine bubble bath. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this just sped it up. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, it's we sprung a leak. Hey, we sprung a leak. It's spitting up. We got a blowout. Look, it's just like everybody's, like, leaving the ship. I look down, and I see the regurgitation of grapes in every way possible. Is that the way it's supposed to work? It's like vomiting. They keep oozing out every orifice. Hey, it's coming out at the top. Look out. <laughs> you can't stop. Look, too many. Too many. Oh, oh, shoot. Ah. Here, here we go. <laughs> Don't let them come out. Go. <laughs> grapes are flying. Shoo, shoo. Ah. I'm hit. Grape shrapnel. K's down. Ah. Shoes. <laughs> I never realized that fruit could be so violent and dangerous. It's like a grape horror show. I've never made wine, but I wouldn't think this is standard operating procedure here. What are we going to do now, Mr. Big Shot? Look out. I saw this on a movie one time. This is the first job, Willie, that you've ever come out with that's good to have big, weighty individuals. I can taste the wine right now, can't y'all? Oh, this is the fun right. part, isn't this it? This is where the magic happens. I know there's a specific recipe to make good wine. I'll be a dumper. We don't have time for that. Whoops, Jay! If a little sugar and a little yeast is good, I don't know how much sugar to put in it. A lot will make it a whole lot better. Down the hatch. And we're fixing to have the best batch of wine money can buy. Well, he spilled something. He poured it all over the place. Ah, stop it. And when you don't know what you're doing, you might as well do it quickly. Jace, we're spilling all our profits. We're going to make some wine. Let's make something that no one has ever tasted before, ever. Go. Ah. How's it smell? It's got a mustiness about it. We need more sugar. A little spice, a little kick to it, a little nastiness. Oh, yeah. More juice. Golly, that went down my <laughs> shirt. All that sugar. Oh. oh, Phil will be nosing around and find that. <laughs> there is no doubt that this wine is going to be delicious. We put too much work into it. <laughs> All sealed up. What other duck call maker has their own wine? None. We just made some wine. Purple gold. Hey, Ben. I got everybody here, my family. I've got special guests. I've got investors, potential customers. I brought all of them in for this wine tasting. 
We are so excited tonight to bring to you our latest Mallard Merlot from Duck Commander. <laughs> Duck Commander wine will propel us to the top. At the top of whatever it puts you at with a wine label and duck call combination. Cheers to Mallard Merlot! <laughs> The wine that we've created kind of tastes like a cross between dough urine and jalapeno juice. Yo! And it smells like coon pee. Hey, I enjoyed it. Full body. City slickers. Don't know what's good. That's the nastiest stuff I ever tried drinking in my oh. life. My goodness. Well, Willie, at least you tried, son. At least you tried. We're hunters, not gatherers. We can do weddings or something here. <laughs> <laughs> Just no wine. I'm gonna buy wine in the box.